Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eritabe Gardens in Georgia, Zone 8. <laughs> I have a nice one for you today. Um, it is hot today. But thank God, I have a new garden hat. <laughs> uh, this is my Father's Day, Father's Day gift from my mom. Uh, my mother-in-law bought this for me. I call her mom. Because she knows that I'm in the garden and she enjoys things from the garden. <laughs> She's always excited to see me bringing things inside the house from the garden. Oh, yes. So this is my Father's Day gift from, from her. So, Mom, thank you for this wonderful heart. I love you. <laughs> well, today's video is on protecting and harvesting my colored greens. Um, some of you know that I have a grand oak problem in my garden and I'm trusting God that one of these days I'm going to build a fence at the back here to stop grand oak from coming in and once in a while I see deer but deer don't come back once I drive the deer it doesn't come back but once in a while it will stray to come again but the deer doesn't come in to eat like the grand hog comes in to feed. It comes in for buffet, buffet in my garden. Wow. So I'm going to show you guys how, I, how I'm protecting my colored greens from being eaten by the grand hog. This is my raised bed, and I'm growing my colored green in it. You can see that the colored green is, have, it has out, outgrown the net that I'm using to protect it. You can see it's forcing itself out there. So it's time to harvest my colored green. Now you can see that I covered it with net and it's because of a grand hog. I had to think of a way to protect my color greens. There's so many things that I didn't plant this year because of the uh, grand hog that comes to eat. The only thing it has ate in my garden this year is my strawberries. So now I have to find a way, because my plan is to plant more strawberries. But with the ground hog coming into my garden for free food, no. I'm growing food for my family, not for ground hog. You can see this raised bed there. Yeah, I've not grown anything, because last year, the ground hog played in this raised bed, ate what is in those tires, Add my sweet potatoes so many times and when I harvested it they were so small because every time the ground hog eats the leaves of the sweet potato it affected the growth so it will store the growth of the sweet potato in the soil until new set of leaves grow out and then the ground comes back again to eat it. So because of that, I wanted to plant uh, colored green. But I know that the ground, when it comes, that will be free meal. So now it is only my, um, what is it called? My strawberry that it has been eating. Look at my strawberry here. It has eaten it twice so now look at strawberry 
look at strawberries here yeah? you see there are some strawberries in the tire you see them there so but i'm going to remove them from here plant them somewhere else where the grand og will not be able to to eat them look at it now because it is covered with net i've been lazy in taking good care of it watering is something i just put use my uh, uh, a water hose and just give them water from through the net because when it rains it goes through the net too so uh i don't want to keep removing the uh, net and then put it back all because of the ground hog see because i'm not taking good care of them look at that one is dead now so now it's time to harvest harvest them Okay, now I can see hole right there. So something has come in. So before my colored green will be destroyed or damaged, it's time to harvest them. Well, I'm back today. I couldn't finish the video yesterday because my camera became very hot just within the short time i i recorded the first part of this video so i couldn't do it yesterday it was hot so i said well let me come and finish this video today before the sun gets to this part of the garden so this is how i've protected my color green from the groundhog i'm so happy so now it's time to harvest the the colored green you see this is what i do all the time and that's why my colored green suffer because i can't be doing this all the time uh, remove the uh, net you know put it back so it discouraged me few you know few few times that uh, see because if the net is not there all i have to do is just to come straight in there and just water them or just fertilize them but look at it. you know wow and this this is nice oh, wow. <laughs> oh wow see something managed to enter in there and start eating the leaves, but look at them looking good. <laughs> I am so happy that the net protected the color green from the grand hog. You know, this is the only one that died, and that's my fault because I did not take enough care of them because i don't like coming in here removing the net put it back all the time but now it's time to harvest this colored green You know, fresh from the garden, colored green. And uh, okay, I will just I will leave the top ones. 
and then I'm oh, and then what I'm going to do is to buy a bigger net because this color green has outgrown the size of the net that I'm using to protect them right now. So I got the net from uh, from Temu. I got the net from Temu. I got this from Temu. I do buy some stuff from Temu. You know. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Yeah, so let me address this. This one and this one and leave the remaining one on the stem so that it will continue to produce more colored green leaves. Look at that. Fresh from the garden. And that's why it's good to have garden of your own. You see, and because I don't come in here all the time, the way I should, when the color green stem got bent, I didn't know. It was too late when I knew, you know. But, uh, okay, let me cut that one. Yeah. Okay. Put that there. And pick these leaves here. Yeah. We'll shut them out. The good one. The one not good. We'll shut them out. And at the end, <laughs> they will end in the stomach. You know? Okay. Huh. Look at how fresh it is looking.
Okay, this one, the out here. I will have to hold them not to fall. And that one is not good, so. I let that one fall. But this one's here. I will have to hold the leaves. Okay, they can fall. I'm good. Into the raised bed. But these ones that are out here, I don't want them to fall to the ground. Okay, how it looks. Okay, well, I can leave these ones. I will leave it for the granite oak to eat. And then I'm going to cover these ones back. Okay, if I don't, <laughs> the ground oak will come and eat them all. You know, but I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and click on the on the notification bell next to the subscription and click on all so every time I upload new video you will be notified and I will see you again in my next video God bless you real good bye